Welcome to another exciting episode of Coffin Radio. I'm Heartthrob Rob, and today we are talking about the brand new releases of WWE. A couple people have been caught cut, man, as of today. Actually, as of yesterday, it's you know, but it's been ongoing, still ongoing, still going as of today. Um, yesterday, we lost such people as Scott Armstrong, his brother, fucking Road Dog, who's been in you know backstage producer role, who actually just had a bit of a heart attack last year, has also been released. Uh, William Regal, who I think is fucking royalty in every sense of the word. How do you lose someone like Steven Regal? Someone that has so much fucking knowledge, wealth, or excuse me, uh, wealth of knowledge to give you. That man is a fucking genius, bro. And you're going to let someone like that go? William Regal, I think, is, you know, one of the best of the, you know, the indie scouts. <clears throat> He's the one who they fucking get to look for guys that are fucking on all the other promotions that could be looking for stuff. So I kind of think that that tells me that they're not really looking for people on the indies like that anymore. We're really seeing how this NXT 2.0 is really going to work. They're not going to look for fucking indie talent anymore. That's not what they want to do. They want to get that homegrown talent right out of college, right out of college. Come over here, baby. We'll take care of you. We'll put a little thing in, me, in a little money in your pocket. But the bad side of that, that is every fucking wrestler is going to be the same. They all come from the same training camp. That shit ain't gonna fucking work for forever. Why would you put everybody in the same training camp? You need to have some motherfuckers working like they're from California. You need to have some dudes Texas, Florida, Philly. You know, you need to have some Missouri, whatever. Some big wrestling towns. You need to have them work these little shitty promotions. Work it out, man. Because like they say, the master has fucking failed more times doing something than the apprentice ever has tried, you know? You need to work and fail a bunch of times so you can kind of see what happens. But with them losing William Regal like that, or them getting rid of William Regal like that, I think that shows that they're not really looking for indie talent anymore. You know, they, so many people, you know, he found the little indie darlings. So for them to get rid of William Regal, that speaks volumes to me. On the other flip coin of that, when they get rid of, you know, fucking Road Dog, uh, BG James, you know, or whatever... That's someone, you know, that's Triple H's right hand. I mean, those guys ro rode up and down the road for fucking years. And I feel like that's almost, you know, like a Sean, not Sean level, you know, level, but uh, Sean Michaels level. But, you know, that's Triple H's homie, right? You, you rolled. You've been a fucking part of this family for 20 years. And to see something like that happen kind of just bums me out because I know, I'm thinking where things are headed. I never think WWE is for sale until something like shit like this starts happening where <coughs> you kind of scratch your head and wonder what the fuck is going on. <coughs> Um, I mean, Scott Armstrong, I guess he trained all the, you know, he's obviously a hell of a wrestler too, comes from the wrestling family. They had a lot of good shit coming out here, man. But apparently, you know, they got rid of um, him too. And he was, you know, the ref, uh, he trained all the refs. So, you know, again, more weirdness coming out. I mean, people they've gotten rid of in the backstage a lot too. They also got rid of uh, Miss Danger. I forget her name. She's Steve Carino's cousin or something like that from ECW. They also got rid of her, but um, they got rid of Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe has been released now. Maybe a big shock to a lot of people, but not to me. Not to me at all. I love Samoa Joe. I don't love Samoa Joe. Just love Samoa Joe. Don't let me lie to you too much. I think Samoa Joe is great. Samoa Joe has fucking good. I'm glad he came from Impact. I'm glad he did his time. I'm glad he went around all the spots and did shitty, Ring of Honor, whatever. Um, you know, Impact. You went around... You did your thing, paid your dues, and now when you come, you had your own fucking gimmick, your own thing, and I loved it. I loved that he was able to do that. But you were snake bit, bro. You had injuries that kept plaguing your career. The second that we let you take the title off Karrion Cross, which I don't think they should have never let you did, homie. God bless you, but you were already on the main roster. Why the fuck did you go back to NXT? I ain't never going back. I'm sorry. But, you know, they let him go back. They fucking put him against Killer, Killer Cross, Karrion Cross. And you took the title off Killer Carrying Cross, bro. You took the title off Carrying Cross. Big man, big dude. Had the whole world on his shoulders, I think. But you took the title off him. And what happened? You fucking injured yourself again. We let you get the title and you injure yourself again. That's not acceptable. And I understand these things happen in the ring. It ain't fucking ballet. But bro, you ain't allowed to be fucking up if we're gonna give you the championship. I'm sorry. Don't let that fucking lineage get destroyed. Let's not have Karrion Cross do a fucking job for your ass, you know, for you to fuck that up. That's just how I feel, bro. And they let him go just like that. You know, he did commentary, he did his thing for a while, whatever, whatever. Bro, if it was me, and God bless you so much. I got nothing against you as a man, bro. Nothing against you, bro. 
God bless. I hope the best things in life happen to you. I hope you get everything you deserve in life and more, bro. I hope that, bro. I swear to God. But me, myself, homie, you would have did jobs to everybody on your fucking way out. I'm sorry. The money that we're paying you, the things that we've done, the things that we've done for your career, you're putting anybody over. You're putting Callisto over. Whoever the fuck. I don't give a shit. You're putting Karrion Cross over on your way or whoever he's gone to. But, you know, again, that means nothing now. But, again, I would have made him do jobs. But, um, you know, if he was able to get out, I wonder if that's it for Samojo's career. If he goes to AEW, maybe in, in a fucking backstage role. I don't know what he's going to do. Maybe back to Impact. Can make, make some friends over there. I know you got some buddies out there. But, um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the WWE releases, man. Just crazy. Let me know what you guys think, man. These fucking common occurrences now. WWE releasing everybody. I think it's out with the old guard in with the new. That uh, Nick Khan guy got his fucking hands in everything. But let me know what you guys think, man. We'll talk about it in the comments. Make sure you like, subscribe. And if you like what you're watching, then hop in the coffin. Follow us on social media. At Coffin Radio. Coffin is spelled with a K. And that's all for today.